What's going on guys? It's your boy DJ Skinless here, your favorite DJ's favorite DJ. And you know it, we're back with the all new vlog. Let's get it. I'm built for it, nigga. So for this vlog guys, I'm going to talk about a recent interview that was posted on another YouTube channel. I'm not going to use their name because I don't want to get a copyright strike and I'm not going to use any audio from it because I don't want to get a strike either. So this recent interview was with Suge Knight. I'm not sure if it's a brand new one while he is incarcerated or not or if it's an old one that someone just posted. But this new one says that Suge Knight still has real music compared to what the estate of Tupac Shakur, Interscope Records, and Entertainment One has. Now, we're not too sure what Suge Knight really meant by this, if he meant real finished productions, or if he meant totally different songs than what the estate and these record labels actually have. But anyways, guys, I'm going to do this short little vlog on this, and I'm going to try to break down as much as possible and go over some songs and show you guys why these songs may not have been studio garbage or table scraps or whatever uh, Sugar Knight wants to call. And before we get into this video, peep the new swag, man. This is Hip Hop Universe's new merchandise. You can check it out on his YouTube. All right, guys, we're just going to go to my website. That's TupacLegacy.net. And from here, we're going to go to the forum tab. That right there was the main website there where we're going to have a bunch of news on there and information. But this is the main forum tab here where you can engage with Tupac fans all over the world. Now, if you scroll down on this page here, You'll find a section right here called the Tupac Reference Discussion and Contribution. Right under it, you'll find Tupac Scans, and this is going to have magazines and stuff like that. But it's also going to have a handwritten archive. And to get on this website, you just go to TupacLegacy.net and click the Form tab, or you go to TupacLegacyBoard.net. Now, right in the handwritten archive, we'll click it right here. You're going to find stuff as letters, poems, screenplays, unreleased albums, and handwritten lyrics. We're just going to go to the album concepts. Now when you scroll down guys, you're going to see there's four pages of this stuff. You'll find stuff here from the Machiavelli album. You'll find Troublesome 21, Thug Life Volume 1, and Thug Life Volume 2, the Death Row era version. You'll find other track lists like Bedtime Stories, To Publish Now, Revenge of the Rebel, Euthanasia, Supreme Euthanasia, When I Get Free, Stay True Albums, Mr. Middle Finger, and a whole bunch of albums, more than 30 album concepts that were never released but this just goes to show you that many of his unreleased recordings had an album already set in stone that Tupac wanted to release with it but for whatever reason you know Time Warner and Interscope rejected Troublesome 21 and Thug Life Volume 1 multiple times so these songs got mixed up or completely rejected from those albums and from release and then you have Death Row Period of which he just recorded so many songs like five songs a day so songs got lost in the scuffle and he was completely you know writing new track lists all the time so he would go from Outlaw Mortal track list to Euthanasia track list to All Eyes on Me and then he would go to like 100% Black Gold and One Nation Ghetto Stars and he just would keep writing all these track lists so there's gonna become a time when you can't fit you know 400 songs on one album so you had to make cuts all right guys so the first track list that we're gonna just glance over is the Machiavelli album and this is gonna be a rough draft so here you go guys this is the handwritten track list some of these are actually in his own handwriting and some of these are just transcribed by a fan that went actually to the uh, museum that these were all showcased at so right here you have a rough draft and you'll see different tracks for this album you'll see like black jesus you'll see further down on many other track lists you'll see like watch your mouth and friends and this just goes to show you that these songs were already you know geared up for release and they're they weren't really studio garbage all right guys now here's another track list this is called two pop clips two and this is a 1992 album which is going to be a sequel to the 1991 album now on here you'll see many songs were recorded Track 2, Troublesome, that was recorded. You see Crooked 2, which was Crooked Nigga 2, that was recorded. You'll see other songs here, such as Backstabbers. We have handwritten lyrics to that. You'll see other songs like Soldier 2, that's Soldier Like Me, which was remixed on Loyal to the Game. And you'll see other tracks down, farther down here, Revenge of Lunatic, which is a real song. Papa Song, which was also released. 
knowing release songs that you don't know that were actually recorded was Look For Me In A Whirlwind with Paris. And I guess you could say, that's, that's really it. Because Backstabbers was recorded, Troublesome was recorded, Crooked Nigga 2, Soldier. Fade Away was also recorded because we had confirmation on that. Vangelute pop song. So like these track lists, you could pinpoint you know, if a song was recorded or not, if the majority of the album was recorded. All right guys, now right here is a draft of the unreleased rejected Tupac album from 1992. It was rejected by Time Warner and that's Troublesome 21. Now here you'll see some songs from Strictly For My Niggas and you'll see some unreleased recordings. First track is Holla If You Hear Me with Live Squad. Now this is not the Strictly For My Niggas version because it says Live Squad here and the unreleased version does feature Big Stretch and Majesty and that's on YouTube. Crooked Nigga 2, which was released, I Get Around, Love Your Future, which we don't know if that was recorded or not, but we do know that there's the majority of this was recorded, so there's a possible chance that this was also recorded as well. Troublesome, Strictly for My Niggas, The Streets or Death Row, all recorded. Did he scroll down a little bit more? West Side Intro, we don't know what that is. It's kind of funny that he's using the West Side verbiage so early in his career when it didn't become a normal stay into 95, 96. So farther down on the track list, you see Don't Call Me Bitch, you see Still Don't Give a Fuck, Keep Your Head Up, Papa Steam, When I Get Free, Nothing But Love, Wonder If Heaven Got Ghetto. Now, Don't Call Me Bitch is unreleased, Still Don't Give a Fuck is unreleased, and that's also recorded. Papa Steam is most likely Papa's song. So you see here again, these songs here actually have an album that actually go along with it. Here's another early version of the Troublesome 21 album. So we have Revisin, I Get Around, Point the Finger, Black Cotton, which was recorded and released on Loyalty Game in remix form, Wonder If Heaven Got a Ghetto, Pox Team, I'm Still Thirsty, which we don't know what that is, could be an unreleased recording, Strictly For My Niggas, Keep Your Head Up, The Streets Are Death Row, Papa Song, Guess Who's Back, Look For Me In A Whirlwind, Barely Breathing. Now, it says Papa Song is here and not Papa Steam, so this might be a later draft in the version that we just saw. But I don't see Don't Call Me Bitch, I don't see Strictly For My Niggas on, well, I do see Strictly For My Niggas on here, but I don't, I see some other songs that are not on here that make Strictly, like Holla If You Hear Me. But track 13 is Barely Breathing, which we don't know what that is either. But mostly, like I said, mostly all these tracks were recorded, so you would have to say Barely Breathing was recorded as well. Alright guys, I'm just going to go over three more track lists just to prove my point. Now this is the early version of Are You Still Down, made in 93. This not to be confused with the 95 version with my block and songs like that, as well as the 97 version. Part 1 has Are You Still Down, Bury Me a G, Lord Knows, Temptation, Death Round the Corner, Nothing to Lose, Dear Mama. And you'll see this is the mixture of Thug Life songs like Bury Me a G, but we don't know if that's a solo or not, or the version with the Outlaw Immortals, you know, Dramacidal. And this is also a mix of Me Against the World. Side 2, you have Straight Ballin', Hellraiser, Thugs Get Lonely 2, Running From the Police, I Don't Bail, Only Fear Death, Can't Turn Back. Now you'll see here there's some unreleased recordings like Can't Turn Back, you know, at that time when Tupac passed, Only Fear Death was unreleased, I Don't Bail, Running From the Police, the version with the Resurrection verse was also unreleased at that time as well, Thugs Get Lonely 2, and Hellraiser. This is yet another tracklist for Me Against the World, Are You Still Down, era album, now this is called Fuck the World. You'll see the first track is Out on Bail, then it goes Hellraiser, Heavy in the Game, If I Die Night, Can You Get Away, Throw Your Hands Up, Outlaw, Young Nigga, Death Around the Corner, My Block, Still I Rise, High Till I Die. And mostly all these songs were recorded, the only song that we don't have is a Still I Rise song. Now you may have heard a Still I Rise album and Still I Rise song with Johnny J as the producer with Qaddafi and the Outlaws, but that's actually a 95 version, and this is a 93, 94 track list, so there has to be an early version, such as when Tupac recorded When I Get Free back in 93, and then he re-recorded that song in 95. Okay, this too has old school, Me Against the World, Nothing to Lose, So Many Tears, Lord Knows, Dear Mama, Sucker for Love, It Ain't Easy, Young Homie, and Temptation. And the only song that we don't know that was recorded is Young Homie, and that might actually be a radio version, the young nigga that's actually on us. And we actually know that there's many scrap radio versions because we just had a Bury Me G radio leak maybe a year ago. There's a Hellraiser radio that no one's heard. There is a Radio to Pain and also Loyal to the Game. 
which wasn't really used for a mainstay Tupac album. Now here is the final track list I'm going to show you guys. I may show you more in the future, but this is the 100% Black Gold track list. This was after All Eyes On Me, before the One Nation and Machiavelli session. So this had to be somewhere maybe around February to around March or April of 96. And I already showed you guys this on a previous vlog where I break down the track list. And I'm sorry for the bad sound quality. That was early on before I actually had my mic. So, but it was probably around 30 minutes long and you guys can watch that and I break down the whole entire track list. Right here, you'll see Hit Em Up, and obviously, you can tell that I was already scheduled for release because it's on the track list where it's my firstborn, troublesome, made niggas when thugs cry, never had a friend like me, never call you bitch again, fucking with the wrong nigga, mom was just a little girl, but do you believe in thugging me and fucking with the wrong nigga part two, which is most likely tongue kissing. So you see, like a song like Tongue Kissing, which is still unreleased, it was already scheduled for release, maybe they didn't put this album fully in the time slot to release it but he actually had plans to actually have this with the corresponding app so there you have it guys i'm just breaking down every song and potentially what album they were going for now there's some songs that didn't make it onto a hammering track list but there's many of them but i would probably say about 85 percent of the tupac songs that were left unreleased had a corresponding album that tupac planned maybe from 1988 all the way to 1996. So I'm not sure what Suge Knight meant about studio garbage. Maybe he has songs that the estate does not have and that's possible because back when the bankruptcy filing happened around 2009, 2010, Laura Lavi and the Wide Awake representatives did an interview and they said that they could not find several songs called The World's Mind, It's Gotta Watch and Show Me Another Way, Capture a Flag and Ain't No Stopping Us and other songs like Smiling Faces which is probably Penitentiary Bound but we're not too sure and there's another song called Sarah Smile which is probably a Smile For Me demo with a whole new verse. So we aren't sure if Suge Knight actually has these songs or other songs or if he was just lying which he could be but why would he actually need this in prison and since he actually lost rights it would actually be against the law and maybe make his time in prison a lot longer if they found out that he actually had these recordings somewhere or he, if he sold it behind the estate's back. But the other possibility is maybe Suge gave this to other people like Suge Knight Jr. or someone else but I can't be positive and I don't want to point my finger at anybody that may have these recordings or not. You know, obviously songs and master reels were stolen back in 96 and 97 after Tupac died, but I'm not going to go over who actually did that because I don't want to snitch or narc on anybody. So anyway guys, this was just me breaking down. I don't think many of his unreleased recordings were actually studio garbage. So there are songs like Funky Freestyles, which the production is not up to par with his other released recordings, but they actually have a corresponding track list such as Tupac Lips Now that it goes to. So who knows guys, there might be songs out in somebody's basement, in somebody's closet, but for the most part, I don't think Suge Knight is actually telling the truth. You know, if he had these songs or if he had any knowledge about Tupac's murder, you know, he would have came forward so he can reduce his sentence, I think. Anyways guys, check out my other vlogs. I'm gonna break down more albums. I'm gonna break down the movie in the future. So if you guys like this vlog, like and subscribe. Peace out. All you niggas out there, beware these lying ass scandalous bitches. They will leave your ass on easy.